Hi everybody Hi. and welcome to this week's vlog. It is Monday. Sorry for all the issues with last week's vlog. YouTube was playing up and literally it was stuck on processing for ages and then it just premiered yeah, whilst we were, were in bed. bed. So there we go. Anyway, this is the start of a new week and a new vlog and we are doing something very exciting today. We, we are, are off to London. Yay! My goodness, but first of all, we're still in our hometown. We are going for a cooked breakfast because we will not get any food until later on tonight when we have our evening meal. And we are going to a very exciting restaurant. We are going to the one which is used for filming First Dates, which we is a are. TV programme in the UK. So we are booked in there for later. We've also got the palace in between. We are going to the Royal Muse. We are going to the Queen's Gallery. And good, goodness knows what else we will be getting up to. But we will be taking you along and we will be vlogging everything. So. First of all, cooked breakfast time. Should we put new shoes on the table? Hmm. And we made it. We are here. Yeah. On the train station platform, waiting to go to London. <gasps> we literally can't wait. It's going to be so good. It's just, just really good to get away. It is. Yay. And here it is, literally. So is this our train? This is our train. So let's let's see if we can board it. There we go. So where can we sit? This one? Can I sit in this bit? We made it. <laughs> we are here. We are in London. We are at Euston, aren't we? Yes. We are at Euston Station. We're headed towards the way out. We've all got our face coverings on. It was a really quick journey. In fact, we got here really quick. It was an hour and what? An hour and fifteen. An hour and fifteen minutes. I read uh, an hour and fifteen minutes. I read Finding Freedom on the way. Matt listened to some music and played a game. So here we are. And that was our train. <laughs> We're here and we can literally just take our masks off. So we have. So we are now going to look for an Uber to get yeah. to the hotel. Somewhere, somehow, some way. So we've just booked an Uber. We're waiting for it. And this is our first look at London. We are literally just right outside of the station. We made our way down, it was really easy. And there we go. There is the station that we've just come from. Let's wait for our Uber. Yeah. Well, it's, I think it's a bit safer than taking the tube. Yeah. Just a bit. Oh, but it's called Euston Square.
Okay, just out of the Uber and we are now having a short three minute walk to find the hotel. And there's a nice little strip here with lots of eateries, which look really nice. Lots of Italian. Uh, we are in the theatre, no, we're in the cinema district, aren't we? And theatre, I yeah. think. Yeah, that was Theatre and cinema. Up, it? Yeah. So this is the main bit of Leicester Square that we're coming up to now with the fountains. I think the hotel's over that way. Yeah, it's over that way. There we go. So yeah, um, apparently it's fairly quiet because uh, for this time of year, because lots of Miss overseas Rona. tourists, overseas tourists are not here. Um, so lots of staycation visitors. Oh, look at the look at the fountain. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so here's the hotel. Just got in, I've just put the card in the door and we just dumped our bags. We have an appointment at the palace really soon. So we're gonna have a quick pit stop. We are gonna go to the toilet and then we'll do our, oh look, is that the air con? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, it's a basic room, yeah. but it's right in central London. We've got a little outside view there of um, a little cafe, I think down below, but it's a nice, uh, comfortable sized bed. There's a little shower room. We're going to have a quick pit stop and then we are off to the palace. Okay, so we're just outside, having just dropped off our bags and had a pit stop onto the loo and we are headed towards the palace. It's going to take about 20 minutes yep, on foot drink. and we <laughs> should walk down the mall at some point, so I'll film that. And we also need coffee. Matt definitely needs coffee. So we're going to grab one of those and there we go. <laughs> the palace and it's really really tasty i've had strawberry matt's had vanilla it's gorgeous but we need to get there really quick we've got like about 25 minutes so quick right there we go look we're in trafalgar square and we're on the way to the palace let's head there quick i think it's that way in down yeah it is. because Tra trafalgar square leads straight onto the mount and there we have nelson's column yeah uh, oh yeah there's big ben straight down there we'll come back and we'll show you in a bit more detail we're in a bit of a rush to get to the palace uh, we quickly downed our drinks and now we are heading there so i'll show you a quick walk down the mall when we're going down there as well and we are walking down the mall there is the mall you can see the famous pink strip and the palace is directly in front which you can't see because of all the lush trees but we are getting there and we are having to walk very, very quickly. There's a beautiful little park to the left-hand side, but we have no time to stop and enjoy the park because we are on a mission. So let's get there. We hear horses. We do. We see horses behind us. They're coming up. In a moment, I'll turn the camera around to get them. Can you see them coming up? I don't know, but they are coming. So the horses are coming and we're coming up to where Clarence House is through the trees over there where Charles and Camilla live. Right, can you hear the horses? You must be able to hear them now. They're catching up with us. There we go. Oh, look. Beautiful. Wow. Complete with tiaras. It must be a wedding procession. I think it's a wedding procession, maybe. Ooh, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Uh, yes, I think definitely a wedding. Get to everybody. Wave at them. Yay! I'm waving. Okay, yes, those are that Clarence House where the cakes are. There we have the palace up ahead, coming up to the Victoria Memorial. It's just uh, like our Lego. It does look just like the Lego palace that we built. Wow. 
I can't believe I'm back at the palace and I'll be going in there. Wow, it'll be the first time I've ever been inside Buckingham Palace. So it will be a real treat. We've got 10 minutes to spare. Um, obviously the carriages are stuck in traffic. I think it was someone's private wedding, but we waved and we said hello and they waved back. So that's good. There we go, look. Oh, wow, we have the palace. Magnificent splendor. Oh, China. Oh, ooh, look at the little gardens, looking very good. Right, now I've got to work out where we go. Left. Okay, let's go left. And of course, the Queen is not in residence. The flag is not flying. The royal standard is not atop of the palace. The Queen is safely installed at Balmoral with Philip. Ah. Right, just crossing the road. We think it's somewhere down here. Uh, obviously, tr traffic has delayed us slightly, but there we go. Right, let's get across. Can we go across the lawn? I think it's a park, so I think we're going to go straight across. There's a man lying down, so I'm sure we can cross. Oh, Ooh, look, the side of the palace. You can see, obviously, where the old, um, the old traditional part of the palace, the Palace of Buckingham, or rather Buckingham House, joined onto the new addition, uh, the, the later Victorian addition by Queen Victoria. See the different colours? in stone right here we have the queen's gallery where we are going first so i need to get my tickets ready uh, to ready to show the lady right okay Ooh, look wow. okay doke thank you very much thank you oh look nice and cool <laughs> Right, so George the Fourth Art and Spectacle. Oh, look. The big difference between between when 1783 and 1789. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a big difference. In the same place. <laughs> George, Prince of Wales, on horseback. Wow, do you know? I think I've actually seen this one on the internet. <laughs> Wow, you see how it like the paint glistens. Yeah. Wow. Oh, ooh, miniatures. I love miniatures. Wow, very cool. Oh, look at diamonds on that one. Wow. Very cool. I like the diamonds.
the cast of the Imperial State Choir. Oh. And the actual diadem. Oh. Oh, I'm so geeky out of that. Oh, it's not even capturing the glitter. Can we see the sparkle? What are these? Oh, they're very small. Mm. Like they're really, really tiny. Yeah. Quite nice. They've got tea. Mm -hmm. Very short thing. Right. Oh, they're cute, look. Oh, Mary Thought. Yeah. They are very cute. They're also cute. limited edition pieces, so we only make so many of them. Oh, yeah. They are. How much are they, just out of interest? Sorry? Oh, they're £295 each, yeah. Does it say that they're made in Mary Fort? No. Yeah, you've got the little... Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, look, the jewelries. Wow. Oh, I've seen these. I've got them. Mm -hmm. Do they have any replica ones that the Queen... So we don't do exact replicas. We do have one that is based on one of Her Majesty's. There's a flower the basket. basket. Mm. So that one is, uh, the original one is a lot darker in colour though. Yeah, I've got that one. So we have that one. <laughs> yeah, because you used to have lots of similar have, yeah. replicas and we they changed to the other. Them. Right. Any reason why? I don't know. Ah, they don't really them. tell us. It just happens that it stops coming in, so we're like, okay, we're not doing the label then, fine. Right. We don't really get told. Oh. It's like when new stuff comes in, we just get surprised by it. We open a box and we're like, what's this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's quite exciting. <laughs> okay, thank you. Because I wanted some more, and they haven't got any. I know. Oh, I've got one of those. Oh, Christmas decorations. Yeah. We do like the Christmas decorations. I know. Oh, that, ah, that's half price. This one is half price. So it was 25, it's now 12 50. Ooh, that's quite good. It does say Buckingham Palace 2020 on the background. If you're not a massive fan of 2020, which I can understand, uh, <laughs> I'm quite sure you can try and... I don't think it. a lot of people will be. No, I don't know. <laughs> you can turn it into 2021. Luckily, it's quite easy to turn a zero into a one. But <laughs> Just unpick it. But it is quite a lovely mm, little deck. It is. It is. Thank you. That's quite cute. That's nice.
I would like that one, it's 35 quid. Wow. Well, is that one half price? <laughs> no. Unfortunately not, because that doesn't say 25. <laughs> <laughs> I thought not. Trust me to always like the expensive ones. But it's nice though, I do like them. Mm. Oh, look, it's my cushion, but in the um, in the purple. Mm. Yeah, that's mine. Oh, I got the socks. You know, I might actually get some socks because <laughs> I kind of wanted those ones. <gasps> Jams and teas. <gasps> Look, you can have a chef hat. They're quite cute. Got egg cups. <gasps> the corgi. <gasps> It looks a bit like bow, don't you oh. think? It looks a bit bowy. It's all dog stuff, look. <gasps> look, they got collars and leaves. <gasps> Buddy would love one. <laughs> <gasps> if they did those in adult sizes. Yeah. Buckingham Palace pyjamas. Or bow sizes. <gasps> I would so get one. That is just so me. <gasps> oh, they're cute. Pencil cases. I actually quite like that one. It's all the kids bits. They are really sweet. Hmm? They are really sweet. Yeah. Ooh. Hand towel soap dishes. <gasps> That's why I need a shower cap for my ear. <laughs> I did actually need one. Oh look, do they have names? Tyrone. No. Oh. Hmm. I've got so many wires and things. I'm all stuffed up. Oh, he's sweet. Look, he's just eating his hay, minding his own business. Oh look. Bottom end. Yeah. Oh, hello, sweetie. Hello, gorgeous. Cute. Look at her. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's huge. So, if we listen to the audio. Mm. Oh, look. Oh, 2010, baby. And Echo. It's got Knightsbridge and Echo. Oh. They're really sweet. Ooh. I know it's not very nice. Oh, not That's a good, right. not a good day for that, is it? Or oh, maybe we do. Do we? Yeah. Your yeah. first stop is the gold steak. <gasps> oh, it's the gold steak coach. Wow. Look at that, that's the coronation coach. Ah, oh, wow. That is amazing. Wow. Just look at that. Wow.
I look, look at the names. <laughs> Milford Haven. Storm. Oh look, it's a Queen Victoria. Oh look at that. Carriage Restorer. Diamond Jubilee State Coach. This is the one that was made for her Diamond Jubilee. Ooh, wow. That's it. I think this is one of the most comfortable ones. <gasps> mm -hmm. That's really nice. Thank you. 
just been to the Royal Muse in the Queen's Gallery. <laughs> wow. I got to see all the state coaches and I got to see the George IV state diadem. It was absolutely amazing. So I am really, really happy. We are now literally just outside the palace. So I'll turn the camera around and show you all. Uh, on the outside looking in. Ah, oh, that should be my home, people. Now, it's currently undergoing major renovation works, as many of you will know. Uh, you can see the Queen's Guards, if I zoom in, over there. But yes, it's um, quite majestic from the front. And as you can see from the side, you can see the, the older, more original masonry towards the rear, and the add-on, which is the front facade. Wow, look at those gates. Very ornate. Oh, and there's the Victoria Memorial. <laughs> we don't know if something important is coming because the gates are open. And there's three armed police officers. So is something coming? We do not know. Um, maybe we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Okay, and there we have the central balcony where the Queen and members of the royal family come out on important occasions such as Trooping the Colour and royal weddings. Many a kiss has been had, a royal kiss, on that balcony. Today there is no changing of the guard ceremony, so I cannot see one of those. Heading up to the Victoria Memorial. It's the first time I've ever, ever actually been on the memorial. So this is um, different. And of course you can see the palace from this angle, which makes a really good photo. Wow. Oh. Wow. That looks amazing. I'm going all the way up. Look at the marble. Looks incredible. Let's go take a photo of the ballets. <gasps> wow. Oh look, a lovely view down the mile. It does look really cool. Being careful not to slip on the wet. Wow. And there she is, Queen Victoria, looking down the mall. at the Queen Victoria Memorial oh. and the sun has come out over the palace look that's really quite nice actually and you can see obviously the the water that um, should be in the fountain there's only a little bit in there but look that's pretty cool Right, if we stop and zoom in, that is a little bit of Clarence House and you can see the flagpole um, where when Charles is in residence, his standard goes up. And I think that we're coming up to where the gates are, but they are heavily guarded by armed police. So I don't think we'll get very far. But you can see, if you look up, the Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother birthday gates. We'll see how far we can get before we're shot. Okay, so that's quite easy. We can get as far as, um, this cordoned off rope that's in front of us. So if I zoom in, you can actually see the guards outside and that is the entrance to Clarence House, where Charles and Camilla live and where formerly 
the Queen Mother used to live. So there we go, the birthday gates. There we go, over the tops of the protective fence. Uh, that is as much as Clarence House as I'm going to be able to show you. Coming up to the statues of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. So let's just pause and take a look at these little beauties. So of course the statue of King George VI was erected um, closer to the time of his passing. And then later, when Elizabeth the Queen Mother passed away, her statue was added right beneath that of her husband, King George VI. And that is where they both remain, looking onto the Mall. Lots of building work going on at Admiralty Arch. And of course, that is the famous ceremonial arch where Diana was, um, was driven through on the horse-drawn carriage at her funeral, the, the central um, archway, and William and Harry walked behind her. Oh, we are back in the room, we are resting, we've unpacked, I've nested, there you go, uh, there's the state of our room. So, I bought some a few little bits and bobs from the Buckingham Palace gift shop, and I purchased this little, little tote bag to put my purchases in, so let's have a little look inside my bag. So, um, if you spent over £30, which I did, you got a free calendar, and I got the calendar of the Queen's Palaces for 2021, of course, and there's uh, lots of nice little images on the back there. So that was my little freebie of the day. Um, I bought a souvenir book of the Royal Muse. So there we go, just a little souvenir to kind of recap on. And I also bought uh, a couple of pairs of, of different socks. So I got, of course, uh, the beautiful Palace Guards, uh, size small. They are corgi and of course i got actual corgis aren't they cool they are really really cool um and of course um by appointment to the prince of wales so there we go uh, those are my beautiful purchases uh, and who knows i might i might buy more as time goes by in london there we go. Uh, walking through the chinese area on the way to find the taxi to take us to the restaurant and we don't know exactly where the taxi is so we're just going to have a little wander and see if we can see it somewhere not exactly sure where but yes oh the smells it smells gorgeous lots of kind of gourmet kitchens and bars looks really really good just got out of the taxi and we're looking up at st paul's cathedral the famous steps of course, Princess Diana got married at St Paul's and walked up those stairs. So we're just looking for our restaurant in a little square next to St Paul's. Here we go, just going into the little square. And I think it's somewhere over here. It could be, couldn't it? Yeah, the, yeah it is, the Pattern Noster. Here we are, we're at the First Dates restaurant. <gasps> wow, because it's Pattern Noster Square. You know, I didn't think it was this. Wow, look at it. Wow, cool. Just starting with a pre-drink. It's a slow bramble, don't you know? And it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Just ordering some drinks. And we've already ordered our food. And we've got a lovely view of Paternoster Square. And we're ordering. For starters, we are having pea and mint soup for the both of us. It looks absolutely delicious. So I've had salmon beetroot and Matt has had rack of lamb. We both had some triple fried chips uh, with some mayonnaise and some tomato sauce as well. Yummy. Ooh, and we are having a frozen strawberry cream and crumble. They don't think. Delicious. They do. Yes, they do indeed. <laughs> there you go. I don't think the camera's quite picking it up, but St Paul's at night time looks really, really lovely. We've just finished a meal, and oh my goodness, it was absolutely amazing. It was gorgeous. It was the starter... Oh, there you go, St Paul's going off. The starter was amazing. 
the uh, the main course, the the dessert was just everything was really it was worth the money, and that is indeed where they film first dates here in the UK. It was stunning. Um, yeah. So we are happy. We are we very happy. <laughs> We're happy. We had some alcohol too. We had some we slow did. brambles. That was the one with all the ice. I had a Prosecco. Yeah, I had you a couple had of glasses of rosé. Rosé. It was just gorgeous. Yeah. Let's do this way so we can get some pools in the background. <laughs> oh, no, we can't because my, my arms aren't long enough. We'll go, we'll go to the square. <laughs> yeah, no, but it was gorgeous. The meal, I mean, your your lamb was oh, gorgeous. Was stunning. My salmon was with beetroot and some kind of mint sauce. The pea and mint soup, I've never had pea and mint soup. That was gorgeous as Stunning. Well. Can't fault it. And the dessert was like a frozen... Um, cream. Set cream. Set cream with a... With a bit of crumble and a homemade yeah. strawberry ice homemade cream. Homemade strawberry ice cream. It was gorgeous. Stunning. Stunning. Here we are at the base of St Paul's, looking up. And I think I want to take you all on a little journey, something that I've been waiting to do for all my life. I want to walk just like Princess Diana up the steps of St Paul's. So let's, let's go on a little journey, shall we? Now... Don't forget, she pulled up somewhere over here. Uh, no, they, they drove in. They drove in where it kind of mats that thing. And then she walked up pretty much where the centre is. Let's find the centre. Let's do the centre, which is going to be here. Right, so we're going to walk up. So that's, Oh, by the way, oh, you can't see because it's dark, but there's a plaque about Queen Victoria. About, this is where she, she lay. So we're going to go up. Now, unfortunately, there appears to be a beer can on the step. Where Queen Vic where Princess Diana walked. <laughs> so we are going to walk right up here. Oh look, there we have the steps. Now it's very dark unfortunately, so I can't really you know what we, we may have to come back in the daytime. Yeah. Here we go, Leicester Square at night time. Yeah. We've just got back in the taxi okay. and we're right next to the hotel. Um, but yeah, this is Leicester Square in the evening time. I wanted to give you my Diana moment, but unfortunately yes. it was too dark, but also there were people up there and they were doing things. Naughty things. Naughty things on the steps of St Paul's. It was sacrilege. I think God the Almighty should strike them down, should smite them down and give them nits. Hi everybody, it is the morning and I forgot to end yesterday's vlog. We, we were just really tired after the restaurant. So we just came back into the room and went to bed. We did. Matt is planning what we are doing today. So I'm going to end this vlog here and we will reconvene in the next vlog. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share it on social media. And also do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. Subscribe and we'll see you next time. Mwah!